When Jacques Cousteau came here for the first time, he called it the world's aquarium. I can only imagine the species and biodiversity he got to see. It is known to be one of the hotspots of biodiversity and of marine life. Pretty much everything that lives in the sea is here in higher numbers than in other areas of the world. Certainly a lot of the species are having a hard time and that's because their habitat has been degraded. If you look at when the Gulf of California was formed several million years ago, there are a lot of data that show that the animals have about five different origins. Tropical West America further south, there's a California input of temperate species along the temperate Pacific coast. When the Isthmus of Panama was open, there was a biotic exchange from the Western Atlantic into the tropical Eastern Pacific. Uh, there's also an Indo-Pacific input and some of those species moved up and were able to take hold and establish themselves. There is a high level of endemism. Those species that evolved in this area that only occur in this area, such as the vaquita and the totowaba, and maybe 10 or 15% more than endemic species in other ecosystems. You have strong tidal currents bringing cold, fresh water. You have a lot of tectonic activity on the seafloor, which also provides minerals and nutrients, which is then the basis for rich marine life. I think Jacques Cousteau would be very disappointed if he saw the condition of the Gulf of California today. Fishing is the main cause of the destruction of the ecosystem. Long lines and especially gill nets all indiscriminately kill species. If the health of a system is diminished, it affects everything and it can affect the planet as a whole. When high-ranking carnivores are removed from the system, the biodiversity collapses. And then that can be integrated with an adjacent biodiversity system and that would collapse. In the long run, the world could collapse. <laughs> 